Alright guys, today we're going to work on solving open sentences. Um, so the objective today is we'll be able to solve open number sentences. So some keywords for today um, is an open sentence is solving for an unknown variable. And a variable is a number symbol that stands for the missing number. So in the example, 11 plus x equals 21, x is our variable, x is our unknown, and the entire sentence would be an open number sentence because you're trying to figure out what x would be. You're trying to figure out 11 plus what is going to get me to 21. So let's try it with this problem. 2 plus x equals 27. Now I want you to pause the video and try to figure out what is 2 plus some, two, what plus 2 is going to get us to 27. All right, so you have already paused the video, so I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out how I might solve it. And I'm going to start with maybe like a guess and check strategy. So maybe I'll do 2 plus 20, but that would only get me to 22. So I know it's going to have to be more than 20. Um, so maybe 2 plus 26, because it's close to 27. But that would get me to 28, which is one more. So then I'm probably going to be able to figure out that 2 plus 25 would get me to 27. And my x, my unknown, would be 25. This part right here, you really don't need to include just yet. But you do need to figure out that the unknown in that sentence would be 25. For those of you who asked me at the beginning of the year if we were going to start algebra, this is just a little taste of what algebra would be. <clears throat> All right, so I want you to go ahead and try this one. So for this one, the unknown is after the equal sign, which is pretty much like just solving a regular equation. So 21 minus 8 is going to get us what? What is our unknown number in this sentence? All right, so I know if I take 21 and I subtract 8 from it, I'm going to have to borrow and 11 minus 8 is 3. Bring down that 1, 13. So my n, it would be 21 minus 8 equals 13. Okay, my unknown is 13. All right, let's try another one. M divided by 25 equals 4. Hmm. This is a tricky one. See if you can pause the video and figure out what divided by 25 would give me 4. Uh, a key to this one is to think about money. Think about how we would do if we had maybe pennies and divided them into 25 groups. Um, or if we had a dollar and we divided it into 25, how many quarters would we have? So a key word, a key, a hint for this one is to think about, think about money. Go ahead, pause the video and try to figure out the answer to this problem. All right, well, I know that if I have 25 four times, that's going to get me to, let's see, so 25 plus 25 is going to get me to 50. And if I doubled that, that would get me to 100. So that makes me think that 100 divided by 25 would get me 4. Also, if we took a dollar and we took it the quarters, if we have quarters in a dollar, there are four quarters in one dollar. So that's how I thought, thought that the money might be a hint for that one. All right, try this one. This one is written a little bit backwards, but it's okay. We can still figure it out. So 17 equals Z minus 8. Hmm. could also be written like Z minus 8 would equal 17. It's the same problem. So see if you can figure out what the answer to that might be. All right, well, let's look at what is 17 plus 8. 17 plus 8. 8 plus 7 is going to give me 15. Carry my 1. 8 plus 
or excuse me, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 25. So I bet if we took that 25 minus 8 equals 17, that would complete our number sentence. All right, on this page, you're going to try them on your own. I will give you some problems. Make sure you grab your note card. You put your name up on the top. All right, here are your problems for today. Um, for number one, 12 plus x equals 17, so figure out what x is. Number two is 15 minus n equals 13. Number three is 5 times n equals 25. And number four is 100 minus n equals 25. If you're having a little bit of a problem with this, or maybe it's a little struggle, don't stress out about it. Try it. Um, we're going to go over it when you meet with me in small group, because I know that this is something that is maybe completely new to you. All right? So give it a try. Put this on your note card when you finish. You may work on math boxes in your everyday math workbook.